so guys i am a verified educator on an online learning platform called on academy right where i am making courses for gate examination both in hindi and english right so you can download the on academy learning app search my name over there act and follow me on that particular platform for awesome videos on the gate chemistry examination hey guys a very good morning to all of you now before you request me this i am going to tell you that the next few videos are going to be about unit conversions for gate uh, then uh, strategy videos for iit jam and then what kind of questions you should expect in this upcoming gate 2019 examination right so now i have a very few minutes in my hand before i move to my institute so i'll quickly tell you some th some tips and tricks about this calculator which nobody actually uh, you know uh, discusses upon so i'm going to tell you these tricks and later on i'm, I'm going to make a uh, highly detailed video right a very detailed video about the uh, scientific calculator that will be asked in the gate examination that will be given to you in the gate exam and i'll also give you the link down in the description box for the calculator uh, you can download this calculator offline and my suggestion is to practice as much as much as possible uh, through this calculator right once you have downloaded it you can use it offline now uh, the first question that i get is how to find the log so when you are trying to find out the log so this over here is the option for the log you can clearly see over here unfortunately i am not able to maximize this calculator so i was uh, not able to i cannot uh, zoom in into it so this is the log value over here now you directly don't have to click the log first you have to let's say we have to find log 8 so you click 8 over here and then you press the log button so this log log is the uh, not the natural log this is log of base 10 whereas the natural log is this ln right so it depends on the question what do you have to find whether you have to find natural log or you have to find log so let's say if you want to find we want to find log so then it's log 8 which is equal to 0 0.9030 and the c button is for clear so with when you press c it, it gets clear now let's say we need to find the natural log of 8 so if you directly press natural log like this it will come out to be minus infinity right because it will automatically take it to be equal to zero so remember this you have to press 8 first and then the log value so now you'll get the natural log as 2.0799 right so this is how you need to calculate now many students ask me how to calculate the anti-log right how to calculate the anti-log so let's take an example let's take log 8 right so let's take 8 and then we take log so you get the value as 0 0.9030 roughly right now let's say this number you get 0 0.9030 and you need to find out the anti-log of 0 0.9030 then you just have to press this 10 to the power x button right so i'll clear it again let's say you need to find the anti-log of 0 0.9030 so you take 0 0.9030 and then you press this button 10 to the power x and you get it as 7.9983 which is roughly equal to 8 right so this is all about your natural log uh, and your normal log log to the base 10 there are other functionalities also log to the base 2 and log to the base y where you can take log as any value this all this i am going to discuss in detail so there are a lot of functionalities that we can discuss right so for calculating the anti-log you just have to take the value let's say 1.0 let's say we need to find the anti-log of 1.020 right 1.020 we need to find the anti-log of this then you just press 10 to the power x and you'll get the anti-log which will be equal to 10.4712 so this will be the anti-log value of 1.02 right now one more functionality which is very very useful for the gate examination is your saving this right you can also save it now how you save it is let's say uh, you are doing a uh, question where you know there are number of steps involved Right, so what, what generally students do, they write it on a piece of paper and since they write it in a very hodgepodge manner, they tend to forget what they have written. So there's a very easy way by which you can actually save it, save all the data in this calculator. So let's say I do 5 into 8, right? I do 5 into 8, which is equal to 40, right? So I'm taking simple numbers just to explain. Now you want this 40 to be saved so that later on when you do the next step of the question, you can retrieve this data. So you just press MS. MS means save. So it will save this value. So now 40 is basically saved, right? 40 is saved. Now let's say uh, I clear. Now I, now I clear, then I do the further calculations. And then I, let's say I do another calculation. Uh, I, I want to, let's say, um, add some value or multiply some value. So let's say I do 8 into 100, right? So this comes out to be 800, right? Now I want to retrieve this value, which I had taken earlier. So 800 I have got. 
and I want to retrieve this value so I press MR so now 40 has been re re retrieved now I multiply this by 800 so I get 800 to 40 that is 32,000 now I want to save this 32,000 then I again press MR that means it will save so M uh, sorry MS MS means save so now it will save 32,000 right so now we can clear it again and let's say now I have to add now I want that data back so I press MR so 32,000 comes up now I can do further calculation let's say I again have to multiply this by 8 so I do this again I get 256,000 then again I press MS MS means saved now 256,000 will be saved now I again clear it then I do some further calculations and now let's say I have to multiply by 12 right so I again retrieve it MR and then I multiply by the star sign is multiplication I multiply this by 12 so I get 3 lakh, 30 lakh 72,000 then again I save it as MS right and then clear and then whenever I have to retrieve I can press MR now I have to save some other data I don't want this data to be there anymore then I just press MC MC means clear that data so MC means now it is cleared so now you don't have any data saved so this is a very very important functionality I'll also talk about M plus and M minus but I don't want this video to be very long I'll make a detailed 20 25 minute video on using the scientific calculator please go through the link that I have provided down below in the description box uh, from there you can download it and you can use it offline that is very important so whenever you are solving numericals try and use this calculator as much as possible to maximize your score in the upcoming gate exam right thank you so much for watching